Hey guys, we've got a completed project video for you today. Uh, so Laith uh, did this one, and uh, Laith, would you go ahead and uh, describe a little bit of what's going on here with these uh, really cool looking Tau? Okay, so first we got some, uh, uh, what are they, stealth suits? Stealth suits, yes. Yep, some stealth suits. Um, kind of did a, went with a, them decloaking. Which looks on. really cool. So you can see these, uh, he's done these sort of like lightning freehand effects on everything. I always like that effect. I've seen, seen that done a few times and just really liked it. So I wanted to try it myself. And one thing, uh, one thing I'd like to point out as we go through this army is we had some requests uh, from the client. First request was that he did not like washes. So normally we do washes on all of our levels, but we did foregoed washes for this. Uh, and he wanted a lot of line highlighting. Wanted to just kind of everything to be really bright. Yeah, really bright, really to stand really out. Show out, yeah. So uh, that's just one caveat with this particular army as we go through, uh, because it's uh, you know a little bit different from our normal uh, normal army schemes. So you have the uh, these guys are what I would call a solid tabletop. Yeah, that'd be about them. Yeah, solid tabletop, especially with that freehand. That freehand really kicks it to a good tabletop level. Then you've got some uh, some uh, crisis suits, right? Crisis suits, yep. They're all fully magnetized. Um, not sure what the weapons are called, though, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we're not entirely always familiar with the with the weapon names for everything. But kind of wanted to make them all really, you know, each individual is very customized. So I see you've got a couple of them mounted on magnet uh, magnetic stands, and then a couple not mount yep. mounted. And uh, the client sent these to us assembled as well, and did not want to get the uh, the rods installed. So these are on the plastic ones. Uh, we normally would automatically uh, do something a little more heavy grade, like a nail or something. Yeah, it makes it way more yeah. sturdy. Yeah, and it uh, in this case he wanted them magnetized, so we do have these on magnets, as they you can, can see right there. Off. I uh, just moved that one around and take them off because I'm only doing one handed. Uh, also, everything's magnetized on these. Can you uh, show yep. them that? All the guns are magnetized, so you can swap all the things. Mm -hmm. So, and um, you're, he didn't want a lot of options. He just wanted them for storage, I believe, right? Yeah, it was just for like transport and storage and stuff. Yeah, just for transport. So he actually uh, only had us paint up uh, the particulars. But uh, we always take requests on any project. Uh, so then we have these. Uh, these are um, the what? Forge World. Uh, all these broadsides. Yeah. Forge World broadsides. Holy crap! I thought these were regular broadsides, and now I'm just noticing they're Forge World ones. That's really cool. Then you have. We're gonna come to that that big dude in a minute. That's the centerpiece. Uh, would you say that these crisis suits are also uh, tabletop? That that's what we went for on yes, this. Yes, I'd say about mid tabletop. Mid tabletop. So when we say that we're kind of describing, would you say this is a low, a high, or medium tabletop? Because of client requests, um, sometimes the the level. You know, we only have three levels. We have our minimal, we have our tabletop, and we have our detail level. Um, the reason that we describe it as a low tabletop or a high tabletop is because client requests are going to vary the techniques we would use normally. So this one's a solid uh, tabletop, not a whole lot of extras put in. So then we have this piranha, correct? Mm-hmm. So that's a really nice looking, you got the, the smooth purple yep. on there. And they're all, you know, obviously detachable and they are magnetized as well. Mm-hmm. So. Then we've got a bunch of drones over here, as yep. you should have in just about any Tau army. They're also all magnetized on the base. He also didn't want any basing on the uh, on the uh, plastic stands. Kept it pretty basic and simple. Then we have this squad of purple Tau. We would consider this our minimal level because even though there is a lot of line highlighting on these, um, because there's not a lot of shading or washes. It's mostly base coat work, so we consider this a minimal level um, because it's really just you know getting the colors down and getting the highlights in. And then let's go to the the final, most awesome piece in the entire army, Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this was the coolest thing out of the whole army. The Megatron head really sells it. So, tell us a little bit about when that. When he told me that he wanted a Transformer head on there, I, I thought the guy was crazy. But it really turned out well. I, it worked for it. I was amazed. Mm -hmm. So And things are magnetized on that as well? Yep, he's fully magnetized. All the sh little shield drone thingies. Mm -hmm. um, the missile pods. 
and all those things. And it is a second gallon gun thingy, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And you can take that right off. And yep. No, even the shield off. over here is, uh, oh, the shield, yep, yep that's magnetized. magnetized. So you see we got magnets right there. You got the little pods that are magnetized. And you even have like this little space marine down here who's been yeah. blasted into pieces. He just took the blast cannon. That's so cool looking. <laughs> and here's the funniest, funnest part. He uh, he wants us to eventually do more um, more heads for him for the transformers after seeing how we Kinda did this. Swap them out with whatever he wants. So he actually had us magnetize the head. <laughs> so I have a feeling he's gonna like have a bunch of different suits eventually that he's gonna get us to do, and then we're going to swap out heads and do all sorts of purple heads just you know for for cool factor so overall uh what you have also uh just to note this is a uh, this is what we call a high tabletop so it still falls into our tabletop but because of some of the uh some of the requests on it and uh some of the things that we threw in there like with the osl that's what makes that a really really uh really good level to get your big stuff at all right, so overall, I, I think we dubbed this the Megatron Tau. <laughs> Would you say that's a good solid yep, name for yep. it? Okay, well, if you're interested in getting something like this, Leif did this whole army, uh, and he is available to take commissions anytime. Uh, so hit us up at projects at titanterrainstudio.com if you would like to commission an army like this. Thanks for watching. Make sure to share, subscribe, and follow on all our social medias.